How the C919 stacks up against its Western counterparts, specifically the Airbus A320, 737 and the 777X heavy load passenger plane from Boeing. Welcome back, aviation enthusiasts. Today, we're going to take a closer look at how the C919 stacks up against its Western counterparts, specifically the Airbus A320 and the 777X from Boeing. So buckle up and let's compare these titans of the sky. Let's begin by comparing the C919 with the Airbus A320, a widely used narrow-body aircraft known for its efficiency and reliability. Both the C919 and the A320 are designed to accommodate similar passenger capacities, offering a comfortable flying experience. However, there are notable differences in their origins and technologies. The C919 represents China's bold entry into the commercial aircraft market, with ambitions to challenge the dominance of Western manufacturers. While it has received praise for its advanced features, such as fly-by-wire flight controls and cutting-edge avionics, it's important to highlight that the C919 still relies on Western suppliers for critical components like engines and avionics systems. On the other hand, the Airbus A320 has a long-standing reputation as a reliable and efficient aircraft. It has a well-established supply chain and has undergone continuous improvements over the years. With a global presence, the A320 enjoys widespread acceptance among airlines and regulatory authorities worldwide making it a tough competitor for the C919 to overcome in the international market. Now, let's turn our attention to Boeing's 777X, which has gained significant attention in the aviation industry. While the C919 and the 777X Boeing aircraft may not directly compete in terms of passenger capacity, it's worth exploring their respective strengths and target markets. Boeing's heavy load 777X, designed for long-haul flights and capable of carrying a larger number of passengers, is optimized for intercontinental travel. It boasts impressive range capabilities and is well-suited for airlines operating on long-haul routes, where high passenger volumes and cargo capacity are crucial. On the other hand, the C919 is positioned as a narrow-body aircraft, primarily targeting domestic and regional markets. With China's rapidly growing middle class and increasing air travel demands within the country, the C919 aims to cater to these needs and serve as a workhorse for Chinese airlines connecting major cities efficiently and economically. While the 777X Boeing plane excels in long-haul operations, it's important to note that the C919 offers advantages in terms of operational costs and fuel efficiency. The C919 leverages advanced technologies and lightweight composite materials, contributing to improved fuel consumption and reduced operating expenses for airlines. This is particularly advantageous in short to medium-haul flights, where cost efficiency plays a significant role. Before we wrap up our discussion, let's not forget to compare the C919 with another renowned aircraft in the industry, the Boeing 737. Let's take a closer look at how these two aircraft measure up against each other. In terms of passenger capacity, the Boeing 737 holds the advantage. It offers various models, including the popular 737-2800 and the more recent 737 MAX series, with the capacity to accommodate up to 200 passengers. On the other hand, the C919 has a slightly lower passenger capacity, typically seating around 158 to 168 passengers. When it comes to engines, the C919 is equipped with twin CFM International Leap 1C engines, providing efficient and reliable performance. On the other hand, the Boeing 737 has a range of engine options available including CFM International's LEAP engines and Pratt & Whitney's PLU-4000 series engines, offering airlines flexibility in terms of performance and fuel efficiency. Price is an essential consideration for airlines when selecting an aircraft. The C919 aims to offer competitive pricing compared to its Western counterparts, making it an attractive option for airlines seeking cost-effective solutions. Meanwhile, the Boeing 737 comes with a higher price tag due to its established reputation and widespread market presence. It's important to highlight that both the C919 and the Boeing 737 have their unique features and flaws. The C919, as a newcomer to the commercial aircraft market, may face challenges in terms of gaining international regulatory approvals and establishing a robust support network outside of China. On the other hand, the Boeing 737 has a well-established global footprint and a vast network of support services, but it has faced scrutiny and challenges in recent years 
due to safety concerns. Another crucial aspect to consider is the international regulatory approval process. Both Airbus and Boeing have established relationships with global regulatory authorities, ensuring their aircraft meet stringent safety standards. On the other hand, the C919 faces the challenge of obtaining the necessary certifications from European and US regulators, which are key markets for international air travel. The C919, Airbus A320, and Boeing's 777 explain each have their strengths in target markets. The C919 marks China's ambitious entry into the commercial aircraft industry, offering advanced features, fuel efficiency, and cost advantages. However, it still faces the uphill task of gaining international regulatory approvals and challenging the well-established presence of Airbus and Boeing. As the global aviation landscape evolves, competition between these aircraft manufacturers will continue to shape the industry. The C919 represents China's determination to establish itself as a key player in the commercial aircraft market, challenging the dominance of Airbus and Boeing. While it may face obstacles in gaining international recognition, the C919's success in the domestic market cannot be overlooked. It's important to recognize that the C919 is not just a single aircraft, but part of a broader strategy by China to develop a comprehensive aviation ecosystem. The country aims to build a strong presence in the entire aircraft manufacturing process, including design, production, and after-sales support. This ambitious vision encompasses the development of homegrown engines, avionic systems, and other critical components. By pursuing self-reliance in the aviation industry, China seeks to reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers and strengthen its technological capabilities. The C919 serves as a flagship product in this endeavor, showcasing China's determination to compete on a global stage and contribute to the advancement of aviation technology. One area where the C919 excels is its focus on passenger comfort and experience. The aircraft features a spacious cabin layout, larger windows for natural light, and reduced noise levels, all aimed at enhancing passenger satisfaction during flights. These considerations reflect China's commitment to providing a top-notch travel experience for its growing domestic market. In terms of market competition, the battle between the C919, Airbus A320, and Boeing's 777X passenger plane is not just about aircraft performance, but also about geopolitics and market dynamics. China's increasing influence in the global economy and its growing middle class present a significant opportunity for the C919 to gain a foothold in the domestic and regional markets. Furthermore, China's Belt and Road Initiative, which aims to enhance connectivity and economic cooperation between Asia, Europe, and Africa, could open up new avenues for the C919's expansion. As air travel demand grows along these corridors, the C919 could become an attractive option for airlines seeking efficient and cost-effective aircraft to serve these routes. However, it's important to note that Airbus and Boeing are not standing still. They continue to invest in research and development, improving their existing models and developing new aircraft that push the boundaries of technology and efficiency. The competition between these established giants and the emerging C919 will undoubtedly shape the future of the aviation industry. As we conclude this comparison, it's clear that the C919 represents China's ambitious entry into the commercial aircraft market. While they may face challenges in gaining international recognition, its success in the domestic market and China's broader aviation strategy demonstrate the country's commitment to technological advancement and self-reliance. As the aviation industry continues to evolve, competition between the C919, Airbus, and Boeing will shape the future of air travel. Each aircraft brings its unique strengths and weaknesses to the table, and it will be fascinating to witness how these dynamics unfold in the years to come. We'll be keeping a close eye on these developments and bringing you the latest updates in our future videos. Thank you for joining us today as we explore the comparison between the C919, Airbus A320, 737 and Boeing's 777X. We hope you found this discussion informative and insightful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating aviation content. Until next time, safe travels and may the skies always be friendly.